Now with Cindy McCain, widow of Senator John McCain. Last night she became the latest prominent Republican to endorse Joe Biden for president. She joins us now. Mrs. McCain, thank you for joining us this morning. I know you were reluctant to get Thanks involved in the, in the presidential campaign last year. You said you didn't expect to get involved or to endorse a candidate. So what moved you to change your mind? Well, like everyone, I've been sitting at home and watching what's going on and and I'm distressed about it. I like everyone else want to have a president that will have my back that shows empathy and compassion, who has courage and dignity in in how they how they lead and that's Joe Biden. Uh, I've known Joe for over 40 years and our, my husband and I we were good friends with them. And uh, I just felt like it was time to take a stand on this. Uh, like everyone, um, and me, I'm a, I, uh, I'm a mother, I'm a business owner, I'm, uh, you know, I'm a grandmother, and I want a president who has my back on things. What does period. it mean that the president doesn't have your back? Well, I just think that, that politicizing things that, that shouldn't be politicized. Uh, it, it's, it's not doing me as an American citizen, everyone as an American citizen any good. So I want, as I said, I want a president that will, will show me the kind of demeanor that will reach across the aisle and work with, with the Republicans and, and move this country forward instead of stagnating. Uh, as we are right now. You've been a loyal Republican for an awful long time, even though you're good friends with Joe Biden and his family. You must disagree with him on lots of issues. Sure, we disagree, but you know something? It's okay to disagree. And you can do it and be amenable about it and be kind to each other. And, and so that's, that, therein lies the kind of, kind of leadership uh, that my husband and Joe showed when they were both you know, on the Senate floor together. Uh, disagreeing on every, uh, not every issue, but some issues, and then remaining friends. I mean, that's, you know, that's what this is all about. I know you've also been concerned by the uh, comments attributed to President Trump in that Atlantic article about the military last week. Of course, he's made very, he made very public comments about your husband time and time again. What role did that play in all of this? Well, it, it, both Joe and I are Blue Star parents. We have watched our sons step on board either a bus or an airplane, whatever it was, uh, headed to combat. And that changes you. So Joe understands what it means to be a military family. And that's something that is so necessary right now. And respect for the troops. Um, it, you know, you can say a lot of things, but men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice are not losers and people that served are not losers. As you might imagine, this is drawn a response from President Trump just minutes ago. It's just coming in right now. He sent out a tweet. He said, never a fan of John. Cindy can have Sleepy Joe. Your response? I don't have any. So we have 41 days to go until the final votes are cast on November 3rd. Are you going to be out there actively campaigning? Yes, yes, of course. I'm going to, going to do as much as I can. I'm hoping that I can convince suburban women who are kind of on the fence about things uh, to, to come with me on this and step, step out of their comfort zone and, and join Team Biden and, and vote a, a man in who would be not only a marvelous president, who, who shows the character, the integrity, the values, and the wherewithal to be president. Mrs. McCain, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.